Hello everybody and welcome to today's early show for Who's Gaming Now? Today we are going to be getting into a couple of Kickstarters, the first one being The Land of Ice. I know you folks have seen it on here before. This is what Carl Mundo's kind of disappeared a little bit to be working on. It's awesome. There's a lot of people working on it. He isn't like the only person working on it or anything. It's, it's really, really cool. It's a lot of fun. I know a lot of people have been having a lot of fun with it too, so... That's what we're getting into right here for the uh, the early show. Now, where I'm at here in the game is a um, about uh, most of the way through the second zone here. So, I'm just going to kind of keep rolling from where I was at. There's one really, really painstaking level up ahead. And uh, some that might not be so bad. So the land of Ias, basically there's there's two main things in this game. One there's going back and forth between the uh, the different layers here, the, the upper half and the, the kind of watery lower half. You pretty much have a hundred percent preservation of physics across one to the other. So enter at a high speed you'll come out the other side at the exact same speed there's no I guess friction I need to sneak this here stand on it now you'll kinda slide a little as you go across here so I'm just kinda micro adjusting keeping my taps on so I don't fly off kind of have to jump off of there because it gets smashed in the big grinder. We have another one of these right across sort of things. There's a few of these in this, um, this zone of the game where you have to set up the brick and then ride it across. And you see that white donut-y looking thing on the right side there? That's a white donut. You need those, uh, there's a tree that eats white donuts and you need to, uh, bring it white donuts. So, riding it across again here. Whoops. Oh really, I had to sneeze there. Some regulars hanging out here. Anybody watching the uh, YouTube video after? Wondering who these random shout outs are. <laughs> oh, I see. I've got to try to get the block up to there to allow me the lift. Diathorn, how's it going? Cool deal. Well, you came at the right time then, Diathorn. Yes, indeed, we are playing the Land of Ias. Bounce, a bounce, a bounce, bounce, a 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 bounce. Oh, 
how do I do this? I guess it's... Can I... There we go. Hey, look at that. I am so smart. SMRT. But then... Oops. Is that actually a makeable jump here? Nope. Not by this kid. <laughs> cool deal. How's it going, Carl? I see how I need to do this. Man, that's dangerous. I might just go the regular course here. Ah. It's just kind of how to finish this puzzle that I'm not 100% certain on. I guess I kind of do need to go up there because that's where the, uh, the exit point is at. But I also need to make sure I don't get the uh, the block caught in the grinder. Whoops! 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 <laughs> get used to that. You're gonna hear me say whoops a lot. Folks, if you want to check out the Kickstarter, it's actually just type uh, exclamation is and it will uh, bring up the information for you lovely folks. Uh, no, Carl Mundo, I think you're getting mine confused with uh, Noodle Cat and Crim Check. <laughs> mine is the one that isn't a family show. <laughs> I just don't feel like using profanity at this particular time because this game is so cute. It does need it. Smoosh right in the grinders. Sandow, how's it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome. So, Diothorn. <laughs> Just 
So ride this across. here. Drop that off there. Grab this. Run back across. Whoops. Screwed that one up. <laughs> As you can see, some of the, the puzzles are kind of particular. If you don't do it quite the right way, you gotta start it back over. And that's fine. Personally, I'm a fan of, like, checkpoints, or actually, um, I kind of grew up playing the, uh, um, games I had played as a youth on, uh, emulator, and just using save load state when I would have a really particular difficult section. Nice, Carl. somewhere else that I need to get. Oh, I see. There's grinders that kind of go far down there. Whoops! Dang it! Need like a zoom out or something so I can actually figure out where the uh, where the other parts of the puzzle are for the level. By the way, this isn't like this isn't the first area. This is one of the last levels in the second zone, which second zone is not meant to be easy. It starts off really difficult, actually. It's going from the first zone to the second zone is a huge transition of difficulty. Huge. But eventually I'll get this one. Y'all see. I can stop doing bonehead stuff like that. Yeah, Mr. Ninja Squirrel, there's actually a lot of games that use the um, a similar kind of mechanic. Is this. There's actually part of the game, The Floor is Jelly, where it has the um, this kind of reversal action going on. Awesome, Carl.
Dude, Rift Talk, stop doing that. Don't advertise the stream that you're doing while I'm doing a stream. You really have to stop doing that. That is not cool. Well, I'll get the donut just to get the donut. to approach it. Hey LFG, how you doing? I think I see what I need to do there. That's very tricky. I have to jump here, avoid those and then catch the, the lip on the other side. Pretty particular. And then use the thrust from that to get me up to here. Ah, tricky, tricky. There we go. Alright, now this level is brutal. This level is just like. First you have to survive the first jump, and then you can play the rest of the level. I think when I was trying to do this level before, I was trying to use the run because I didn't realize the uh, standard sp speed of movement. Um, there's actually something I kind of want to do first. I do have one of those little white donuts you see in the upper left corner there. That means I need to go back and talk to the talking tree. Donut tree, where are you? Eat the donut! Eat the donut! Give us some knowledge!
where's that ledge grab? How long has the mic been muted? Dang it. Yeah, that's screwy. I'm either not quite making it or I'm overshooting it and just running into the blades. There's definitely something not working right there. No, Enigmax, it's not even com fair to compare this to that. This is, um, this is a puzzle platformer. That was completely different. Why do you not ledge grab? Why do you not ledge grab? Why do you not ledge grab? Well, I'm glad I caught it because that's so annoying. Yeah, Enig Max, that's not a puzzle platformer. <laughs> Mr. Ninja Squirrel. How is how is this not a puzzle platformer? It's not a combat based platformer. It's a matter of being able to get through from point A to point B with uh, minimal um, you know there's moving parts like of course there's the blades, but I mean moving parts like the um, the boxes that you saw in that lesson where you had to kinda use them and bounce them up and down and use it as a platform. Whoops. I wouldn't call it a hardcore platformer either. The reason why I don't call it a hardcore platformer is because you don't have lives. You don't end the session at some point after you've died too many times. To that extent, it's just another puzzle. I don't know, I consider Super Meat Boy to just be a puzzle. Not ledge grabbing there, though, is freaking annoying.
not ledge grab. That's so annoying. No, actually, Ninja Squirrel is not the ledge is uh, placed too far. Oh, you need to be pushing up. You see, every time I try to ledge grab, I guess my stick was pushing slightly up, and that's all it needed to detect as a ledge grab. I didn't really know. You actually need to hold up to make it do a ledge grab. Well, that'll make things a little easier. Um, definitely need to get that in the tutorial somewhere. <laughs> or in some sort of... some sort of a lesson. Because I don't really remember that being taught very well. Or it being explained. I know that it's taught that there's ledge grab, but... Hmm. I don't know. Like I said, I think my stick was mostly oriented up. Oh well, it only helps me get through that section. I still have to do the rest of this here. Yeah, I'm sure there will be more death animations. Yeah, yes, Mr. Ninja Squirrel, the hitboxes are definitely very, uh, very big and punishing. It's not, uh, not kind tolerances. Ninja Squirrel, I believe, the plan is to have the game release next year. Now I'm holding up and it's still not ledge grabbing. Yeah, okay, ledge grab is definitely broken. It doesn't work 100% of the time. Yeah. There might even be a build that's less punishing than this one. This just hasn't been made available yet. It's a good puzzle, it's just not fun because the tolerances are so tight.
Yeah, the background art's really nice. Once again, my statement on safe state, low state, and checkpoints and stuff like that. Let the speedrunners do the level from start to finish every time. I just want to kind of finish from the last part. I don't really care to speedrun the game, I just want to get through it. You just have a no checkpoints mode, and then maybe uh, there's a special bonus ending for completing it that way or something. Bad Viking. Yeah, Prem Chan, it is difficult. That time the ledge grab worked. That's not how I need to do it. Because I still have too much momentum that way. This is the land of Ias. Well, Carl, you gotta do something. Either you gotta give us checkpoints or you gotta make the collisions on these things a little bit slow, uh, smaller and make the ledge grab work every time. Because ledge, la ledge grab is most definitely not working every single time. And the collision radiuses on these things are just a little too big. Like, I'm not sure if you plan for players to spend one, two hours just learning just this level, but that's totally what's going to happen if people want to beat the game.
yeah, like like Ninja Squirrel said there, like it, it's definitely the point where it's like, you know, I don't expect that you can skip levels. If you can skip levels, then I, I imagine people would just skip this one after long enough. You know what? I want to show off the land of Ias. I don't want to show off one level. Let's mix it up a little bit here. Oh, new zone. I guess we're in the Matrix. Wow. A lot of levels here. Gravity rivers. Huh. I like it. These blocks just got eaten by those gears. Wait, what was that? Oh, I still have the regular folly gravity in there. What about these? Are these? Yes, they do. Hey! No, they don't. Whoops. Oh, come on, ledge grab. Ledge grab keeps doing the wrong. Squish me. Uh, that's much better. Except I'm on the wrong side of it.
squish. Whoops. Uh, Ninja Scroll, I just haven't redone the interface. I realized people were not happy not being able to see everything in the game place. What? What the hell just happened there? I grabbed a block and one fell on me? Come on. Well, it's in early access. <laughs> They're still working on it. It ain't a finished game I'm demoing here. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a Kickstarter. It would be buy it on Steam. I see. It's a cool puzzle. Or is that? No, that isn't how it's going to work. I can't just grab those blocks and bring them across. Mod support would be nice for this. Making our own custom levels. Pretty cool. I don't need to grab that block. There was a purple thing in the water there. Yep. I feel like I'm missing an ability I need to get to this or something. Carl, any uh, any tips on this one? This kind of looks like an unfinished level, not gonna lie. Oh. I take it back. I still have a donut to turn in. see if there was anything over on this side like another one of them donuts no pretty sure that's all there is to this level Yeah, the music for this game is great. Yeah, Visando. You still 
started on Wednesday. I'm really digging these levels. That last zone was just like the death grinder. This place is actually a lot more of the um, the puzzly stuff that I really enjoy. Is it gonna sink me all the way down? Yeah, good to know. Yellow ones restore the natural state. blocks just sink. Good to know. Okay, I get it. Yeah, this is a lot more, once again, going back towards that puzzle platformer sort of thing, not the uh, the hardcore platformer like we were seeing in the Steel Forest Zone. Whoops, that's right, that's a fall area. Hey, Caesar, how you doing, buddy? Gotta jump off that sooner. <laughs> Digging this puzzle though. As you go here, that brings you up to here. You grab this, you take it underneath, ride that block over, jump here. Ooh, gotta bring that block all the way over. That's a tricky jump. Hey, hey, Noodle Cat. Welcome, welcome. Shlunk. There we go. side. Oh, what I get blocked on? 
It's like I arbitrarily got blocked on something when I was trying to jump for the key. It totally didn't jump off. And that's totally the cornerstone of completing this level. What the hell? That's twice now. Carl, what's going on here? I can't wait any longer on that jump, otherwise I miss it. I keep hitting something. See, he keeps he keeps bricking his head on something there. Oh no. I was able to do it perfectly on the other side. In fact, I'll try it on the other side just to make sure. See? That was just fine. Then when I try to do the same thing over here, it doesn't work. And then he got squeezed because he wasn't his head bricked on the. Uh, I think there's some issues with the proximity to that door there or something. There's definitely something keeping me from being able to complete that jump, and it's not a good thing. Once again. Ah, okay. I did get squeezed that time. But that was because I jumped late. Okay. Easy enough. goes in there, then reverse, go to here, drop the wall, there's no reason why he's not able to make that jump other than some weird technical thing where he keeps getting blocked there. I don't know why it's happening, it's getting really frustrating, so I'm just going to move on. Clearly this level is not completable at the current time. So I'll show you some of the earlier levels real quick before we uh, wrap it up here. Is this the one I'm thinking of? No. 
There was one in particular I wanted to show you. This one is actually the title screen level. So this is what you see when you start the game, actually. You've got that block moving up and down on the right side there. You've got your little character who can jump around up here. And you can see the, uh, the puzzle over on the right. Oh yeah, hey Carl. So there's this thing where if you're in the middle of doing your character reversal while there's a block above or below you it causes the game to freeze like it just did there <laughs> I forgot to mention that from the last session but yeah yeah I find bugs I'm sure you guys already knew about that one though anyway that's uh, one more reason why you folks actually should be funding the Kickstarter here so that they can work out all the rest of these bugs. <laughs> and get everything all nice and clean and polished. And yeah, it's a hard crash. Like, I can't do anything. It's, it's... Open the task manager time. And for some reason, opening the task manager has changed to, to go back to the level screen for the green area on my side. <laughs> 